Hey guys, what's up? This is Gaw, man. Welcome to Super Mario Odyssey on the Nintendo Switch, where it is the only place it can be. Uh, there's no menu music for whatever reason, but you know what? I guess we'll go ahead and get this started. I am using Joy-Cons for this, although we'll see how long I'll stay with this before just swapping back over the Pro Controller. Alright, in the skies above Peach's Castle, Bowser is having an epic fight with Mario. Well, this is jumping straight into the middle of a story. <laughs> this is the end for you. <laughs> I didn't expect dialogue. Oh no! The hat. <laughs> the hat is aggressive. <gasps> oh, he stepped on my hat. That's just rude. You know, you need to be able to show respect for your rivals. Time for my wedding with Peach. Dallas Mario. Did he say, like, adios? Wait, my hat, my hat, the, hat, the hat's coming back, but it's not my hat. I looked away for a second, I'll be honest. I don't know what the fuck happened. Why is there another hat? <laughs> he just stepped on it. Is Mario going to talk? That would be something. Oh! Oh, wait, hold on, I'm not even holding my controllers right. I just have them hanging down from my wrist. Okay. So, let's look around. Whoa, whoa, we're waking up! Press B to wake the hell up! Whoa, we're here! We're alive! Hello, Spooky Ghost Hat! Spooky Ghost Hat, come back! <laughs> Hold on, I have to do my tutorial things. Okay, so welcome to Super Mario Odyssey. This is technically, or I guess officially, my first Mario Let's Play on the channel. Uh, I've played Mario kind of games, but yeah, I've never really gone through the other Mario games. Like, in terms of story. So, this will be an interesting experience. Uh, do forgive me if I'm not, like, some amazing Mario pro who's been playing, you know, since Super Mario 64 and knows every type of jump and crazy maneuver or whatever is going on here. I can roll and I don't even know how I did that. Okay, we'll learn that over time, maybe. Cat? No, come on, man. Look, I, I, I just, I might even have a concussion. I fell out of a ship. Don't just run away from me. Ooh, look at this fog. It gets the hell out of my way. If only Fog acted like that in real life. Oh, look! Little frogs! These frogs have hats? Hello, little frog. You never know, they could be people who can talk. I don't, we have a ghost hat! And he obviously is capable of some kind of intelligence. Hello, other ghost hat. Who? Who are you? I'm Mario! Can I talk to him? Can I punch him? Ooh. Whoa, look at that! Whoa! <laughs> look at how I spring up like that! Yeah, okay, well, if I can't talk to you, I'm just gonna move on. Well, you're not one of them, are you? Who? The Koopas? The bad guys? I'm not a bad guy. Well, depends on your perspective, I guess. Oh, so sorry for running away like that. You startled me, and I do startle easily. I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the ringer! You've landed in the Cap Kingdom! We've been under attack by the same Bowser monster that gave you such a trouncing! And to make matters worse, the fiend has kidnapped my little sister! Hey, Peach was wearing that! Huh! Look at that! I'd hoped to give chase to that Bowser monster in a ship of my own! Unfortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in the attack! That's smart of Bowser. It's made sure he had no way of being chased. Although now that I think on it, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. 
I could get us there if only I could reach the top of the Top Hat Tower, which is being guarded by the monster's henchmen. You know, it seems we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can help those two. Yeah, okay, I, I like how it's referring to them in just like images, it's like emojis, but I guess just for text, chat now, dialogue. Oh. <gasps> I lost my heart! Oh, well, that doesn't really fit right. Uh, not your style? How about this? Is he gonna combine with my hat? Whoa! I thought he was just gonna transform, period, but he actually took a little bit of the old hat within him. Cool. Cappy is now your companion. Nito. Try throwing me with Y. Oh, hold on. I'm spinning. This was not my intention. I just wanted to run around in circles. All right, press Y to throw Cappy. You can also shake the Joy-Con to throw. Oh, yeah, that definitely is helpful. So it's like, oh no, there's an enemy here. Wah! Whoa! 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 Okay, up. Throws it, well, forward. But I also just threw it up when I did the same thing. I'm fucking, I'll figure it out eventually. Gyroscope controls and me are, uh... We have an interesting time. Oh, both of the Joy-Cons do it. I was just using my right hand. Because, you know, that's my dominant hand. That's gonna be my throwing hand, too. Whoa! What happens if I light up all these lights? Well, either there's more or they do nothing. Yeah, this is gonna take me a little bit to get used to. Cause there's kind of like a little bit of aiming to it. Where I can toss my hat and then like make it go in another direction. It's like I hold up, turn around, toss it, and then go up. Oh, well, that was down. Oh! Toss it, go up! Toss it, go down! I'm getting it! Toss it, go left! Toss it, go right! I am now a master of hat controls! Ha ha! And I can use the hat to destroy everything! Okay, sorry. I just, uh... I'm learning things. Alright, well, this is our playground to learn what the hell we have to do. I think we slammed down on this with, uh... By jumping and pressing the right trigger? That didn't do anything. There's gotta be more! Wait, why am I- <laughs> I went through smoke and now I'm covered in smoke. So... I've seen a little bit of gameplay for Mario Odyssey. So I know of something, so like you can like toss your hat, jump out, whoop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm trying to toss the hat, jump on the hat! Okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I'm just gonna go back to breaking boxes. But at some point, I would like to toss the hat and then jump on the hat to extend my leap out further. But that might be something like an unlockable ability in the future. Oh, hey, look, there's this whole little side area here. Uh-oh. Bowser and Peach, a royal wedding? Hey! This isn't allowed. Oh! But you know, if you're gonna cover up money, and rather than taking the money, I'll also take that. Uh huh. Don't you think it's kind of, like, pretentious to, like, have hat symbols all over the place as a hat? I know that as humans we have statues all over the place, but what if we just, like, in random areas had human icons on every single wall? Not counting symbols to warn people that it's like the male or woman's restroom or that you're gonna cross the street. But just like on a random wall, just like, oh, there's a person. I shouldn't be too judgmental of their hats. I don't really have much else for symbols, right? Oh, this is really random. What the heck? <gasps> what the hell? If I just hold out Y, he just keeps spinning around it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. How are you, friend? All alone on that tower. I do hope my darling boyfriend is all right. That tower up there? Yeah, I guess I should start making my way over there, but I've just- I've got so many curiosities. Whoa! Whoa! Dude, this hat is so destructive! Or at least capable of destructive powers! Okay. I also give a warning while uh, I, I noted that I've not really played Mario games 
too much in the past. I also just suck at platforming, so we'll see how things go for us here. It keeps telling me how to throw the cap. They are not really telling me, but just it hasn't gone away. Hello, listen, I've got your, uh, will you venture the tower, the, the top of the tower for us? That Bowser Monster is up above. Aren't you heading there now? No. I'm being easily distracted because, well, we've got all this stuff to explore. And now I'm just soaking wet. Oh. Oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. If I hold the button to keep my hat out there, that's how I jump above it. Gotcha. I figure, you know, learning some of the basic mechanics at the beginning of the game is the proper place to do it, right? Okay. Let's, uh, let's head on out. Unless something else distracts us. We got point pings over the side. Ah, <laughs> more coins. Don't know what the coins are gonna do for me, but we've gotten like a hundred so far. My airship! My beautiful airship ruined! Wait, these are the airships? These little hat things? Guys. Try jumping up and tossing me out of that post. Oh. Well, thank you for the coins. This is one of those unfortunate games where, like, everything is interactable or, like, a ton of things are interactable and now I'm gonna have to spam my hat at everything. Hello! Welcome to Bonneton, Pride of the Cap Kingdom! Do you know about the action guide? What? What is the action guide? Oh! Oh, shit! There's a... There's a area where we can just straight up look at controls and things like that. Oh boy, two players. Someone can be Cappy? Whoa. That's kind of random. That's kind of really random. But we're playing one player. All right. Uh, well, we know about all of these. There's an amiibo button. I don't have any of the Mario amiibos though. Okay, what about, what about other stuff? Oh, Jesus. Capture actions. Don't know what those are. Although I assume they're gonna involve me to tossing hats at things. Okay, so we can long jump. ZL and B while running. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, there's so much to learn. Some of these are basic, like, oh, toss your hat. Toss your hat down. Toss your hat to the side. And then you have these other ones which are like, okay, you gotta crouch and then jump and then fling yourself into the air. Right. We'll get it down eventually. You can see it anytime. Just open the menu with the plus button and then select action guide. Cool. Alright, so if I slam down, I can jump up. But does that, how much does it help me? I guess it puts me slightly higher than my original angle. Alright. Hello! I can see the monster's minions from here, but all I can do is float helplessly and watch! Well, that's a bit of a shame. Maybe you should transform into my hat, too! Cool. Cool. Are you headed for Top Hat Tower? The entrance is up ahead. Well, I mean, I've made my way over here. I might as well. What's this say? Travel tip. Cap, throw, and hold. Want to break a whole stack of boxes or hit a question block a bunch of times? Just press and hold Y to do a cap throw and hold. Your cap will hover for a bit and keep spinning. That's true. I should just do that. Uh, sometimes when things just break immediately, it doesn't matter. Whoa! That was an accident! A happy accident! Okay, let's go ahead and climb around Snake Way, or maybe in Hat Way. Oh shit, what the fuck? Who captured all the birds? Yeah. Bowser. That's just a mean thing to do. So I just made the hat go backwards into me and then flipped off of the hat. How does that work? <laughs> if I use the Joy-Cons more often on the Switch, things would probably be good. Uh, cool. I can toss this down the, the wall. Okay, we spent like 20 minutes sticking around here. Huh? 
What odd little fellows! They seem to know you! And not like you! Well, I mean, they do work for Bowser and- Oh! Slammed on them! I can even take him out with my hat. Cool! I'm becoming aware of my abilities. Soon no one will be able to stop me and you, Cappy! Nothing but platforming! Oh, there you go. Okay, inside Top Hat Tower. Really? This is intense. The building didn't really look as if it was this big. Cool. I did it again. I wasn't even looking. But if I run into my hat, it doesn't matter. Uh-oh. Oh. Why do these have to sink? I just want the coins. Hello, frogs! <gasps> I have become the frog! <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> this just makes me think of Kingdom Hearts. Maybe I don't want to subject Mario to this all the time. That was kind of scary. Uh -oh. <laughs> you captured a frog! Okay! Shake the Joy-Con to jump high. Whoop! Holy hell! This is intense, okay. Ah, there you go. See, it says dash, and I'm assuming I'm just gonna, like, quickly go forward, but no, it just means I'm, like, sprinting as a frog. Holy Jesus! Excuse you! Okay. <laughs> I am trying to ascend up this wall with the frog form. Thank you very much. I was hoping there'd be something a little bit more, but, you know, we'll take coins. As my reward. Okay, well, how do I not be a frog? Like, say I want to toss my hat at that. Oh! Cool! At a press of a button, I can take a snapshot of me! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a frog. But that's not what I need. I wish to become un-a-frog. I can just stay dashing in place. I wish to stop being a frog, but I don't know how to control myself. Damn it. I want the mystery block! It would give me coins! Oh well, maybe we'll learn how to stop being a frog up ahead. Or maybe we have to, like, let the frog die? Huh? And that's the only way we would become not a frog. I don't know if it's safe for me to run into these things. Let's see. Okay, it is safe for me to run into them as a frog. Greetings, my fellow frogs. Whoop, hold up now. There are just random coins out here. Whoa! That's gonna be trippy. Invisible coins? Are you serious? Now I gotta worry about that everywhere. For all I know, there are invisible coins all along the edge of the map. Ah, oh, Mario games. Excuse me, Goombas. I'm doing a little bit of an uh, investigation. There could be things here. I don't want to fall. That'd probably instant kill me and the frog, which I don't need in my life. I only need the frog to be dead or just not controlled. I don't need to be a murderer for the frog. I just don't want to be the frog anymore. Well, I mean, it's a little late now, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I will continue to be the frog. I don't know how much of a... How many collectibles I'm gonna go for in this game? Because it's gonna depend on how many collectibles I even, I'm even aware of, you know? Whoops. I'll go for what I'm aware of that I can find, but if there's like invisible blocks, like say alongside these walls or something, no promises. I might find them, I might not. It might happen. How do I stop being the frog, Cappy? Oh! 
I figured it out. It's ZL. I tried every other button on the bottom of my controller. Okay. Oh shit, the frog just goes away though. Whoa! I got a ton of health now! Okay. Well, we got a problem. And that is, there might be... More up there? Actually, maybe not. That's a pretty high wall, maybe never mind. But, curiosities... Got me heading down here. Hello, little frogs. I am now you! And you are now me! All right, is there an invisible set of boxes around here uh, so I can get the coins? No? All right, well, uh, goodbye, frog. You stay here or disappear. It doesn't really matter. Hey, what's this do? Is it a checkpoint? Top hat tower. A checkpoint for the area? All right. Well, that monster has ruined everything. Bad days do happen, but if you you got to keep a stiff upper brim. Can't you do something to help us? Who could be responsible for this? Uh, Bowser. I'm so scared I can hardly move. Whoa. Turn on the light. Turn on some lights inside of the hats. Or they were just always going off and I wasn't paying attention to them. That can happen. The monster's long-eared henchmen are still on top of Hat Tower. Or Top Hat Tower. I say do be careful. Were they all supposed to be running? Quits, 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 I do hope she's all right. Ah, hits the guy. I guess that must be the boyfriend. Maybe we should run away. Maybe we should hide somewhere. These are both decent options. You should also clean up the place so that way I can access some of it. There's a hat door there, but I can't go into it. All right, I'll go back up. But now there's no coins to incentivize me. Can I toss my hat? Oh, oh God. Can I toss my hat at a wall and then use it to jump up the wall? We should probably just head up. Hello up there! I say, I, I, could you please stop bullying these people and destroying their stuff? It's a bunch of rabbit people. Or bunnies, I don't know how they would refer to. <laughs> the boss warned me there'd be a fella with a mustache coming along. I guess we ought to introduce ourselves. We're the wedding planners for the happy couple. They call us the Brutals! We got that hat treasure we needed, so we ain't got no more business in these pots. <laughs> of course, wrapping up a goody two shows medals was in the contract, so I guess we still got a little work to do. So, Bowser specifically stipulated that you should attack people who attack you, or are just around, I guess. Alright. Well, I'm gonna toss my hat at you, and then I'm gonna take you over! Or jump on your head! Easy peasy! I ain't worried about nothing. Ha ha! Wow, you're so easy to take out. Are the other guys gonna jump down? Hold on. Most impressive! Now let's use this wire to make our way around, or onward. This is a wire? Oh shit. Dude, the cat people are intense. Okay, I just want to spin the hat around me. Cool. I've got an idea, jump up and throw me on that thing. No. No, I got other things I want to do. Can I do it to the right? Ha ha! Sorry, I just, I like doing that. Let's get out of here. Oh, I actually have to move myself. There you go. I was expecting to have to fight all four of those 
rabbits, but this works out. Super Mario Odyssey. This is how it gets really started. So are the kingdoms all part of one world, or how does that work? Cascade Kingdom. Fossil Falls. Oh, we're going, we're starting here already. Wow. Thought it was a little bit, a little bit later before we got to this place. Man, he has a story to tell, Peach. Oh, Mario, what'd you have to do to save me? I became, <laughs> I became electricity. <laughs> Our first power moon. I guess that's the first power moon. Whoa, yeah, what a ride. And we made it to Cascade Kingdom. Sorry, still a bit amped from capturing a power line. Must collect myself. There should be an air old airship somewhere around here. Let's see if we can't find it. Hey, when you say old, do you mean like dinosaur age old? Did I just kill a dragonfly? No, it just disappeared randomly. Okay, well, uh, now we're in the land before time. Let's see if we can find dying uh, dinosaur mothers so we can be really sad about it. Waterfall Basin! <laughs> oh, hey, what's this do? Oh, it becomes a little platform for us! Okay! Oh, I didn't need it. It's kind of unnecessary, but it helps you learn about things. What are these purple points? There's something. <laughs> There's something. Okay, these are like slightly shaking? Or something? There's like rocks breaking off of them. Right, okay. What, what, what does this say? I want to read the sign, Mario. Jesus. Travel tip. Homing cap throw. After throwing your cap, shake the Joy-Con again to perform a homing cap throw. Your cap will fly toward the nearest target you can see. It's super handy when your aim is a little off. It's a little handy when you're really bad at the game. Well, you know what? Fair enough. I'm probably going to be very bad at the game, especially because I'm using the Joy-Cons. Ah! Okay, maybe a bad idea. Shake the Joy-Con repeatedly for a homie cap throw. Hup, hup. Hup, hup. Ah! Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a, I'm a ball chain! I'm a chop a chop! Holy hell! Okay. I want to become everything now. Hey, little guy. Look, I'm not actually worried about you, but I was just curious about what was going on here. Okay. Well, obviously, I have to open up that area to get the moon, but there's also coins hidden inside these little rocks. Sometimes it's a small amount of coins, but that's okay. Ow! I walked straight into him. <laughs> I almost did it again. Like, I'm just being barely antsy. I, wa I want to take control of him again. Alright, so what the heck is a power moon? Huh. You got a moon! And... Mar <laughs> Nintendo doesn't know really about drop shadows! Uh... Oops. That's okay. That's alright. Multi-moon atop the falls! Oh! Who the... Dude, that's a- that's a big rabbit lady. She's got a chomp chomp pet. Huh. Oh, we found a power moon! What a lucky break! This will come in handy to power the airship! Have you ever seen anything like it? No. No, not really. Have you? You seem to know about them. Okay, there's water here. And the water could lead to cool things. But, uh, I don't know if there's anything at the bottom of the falls. What is this? Oh, there it is! This is what we were looking for! It's like a bit more rough than I'd expected. Ah, no, it's just an owner model. I'm certain it can still fly. The hat? That, that's a ship? Let's give it a shot, shall we? Just throw me on that globe there. Oh! You got it! Use the power moon to turn it on! And maybe fix up the entire thing in one go? Oh. That was a little disappointing. Huh! Nothing's happening? 
That power moon must not have not, must not have given the ship enough energy. I wonder if we can find more around here. What if we just couldn't? What if we just couldn't actually get this adventure started because we didn't have enough energy for the ship? That'd be an important lesson for the kids. Energy is important. Make sure you have usable power sources. Whoa! Oh! And sometimes... Sometimes bushes will give you money, so shake every tree you can find. And every other random plant. Whoa, hold on now. If I keep it there... Damn it! I want to go up! I wish to go up! I'm so close to the top! Oh well. Maybe I'll find an animal around here. A frog to become. To be able to hop over these walls. Or I'll just get good. Bird! I couldn't become the bird. What? Face the polar tree and press B to grab on. Oh, would you look at that? Shake the Joy-Con to climb faster. <laughs> that is not an appropriate thing I just did. But I guess that's how we're gonna climb. <gasps> there are purple coins up there. Stop turning the camera around, Mario! I'm trying to face that way. Stop it. Stop it. Why do we keep turning around? It automatically faces north. Can I disable that? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I did that by accident. Again. Options. Uh, controls. There's a lot of stuff here. Holy hell. Right, well, uh, I do not have anything here that says stop making the camera turn around when I don't want it to, but maybe it'll just stop doing that eventually in the future. Technically, we're just at the beginning of the game and we're supposed to actually be progressing the story, not just always looking around. Oh, I didn't... <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> I was supposed to toss the hat and then jump. I just walked off the edge. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of moments like that. Thankfully, there wasn't, like, a death drop there. Ah! Nope, didn't make it. Wait! Oh! What if I... toss myself out... To nope, that doesn't work. I was gonna say, what if I throw myself forward with the long jump... Ow. And then use that to cross the gap. Uh, good enough. Wow, that's a big chomp chomp. I want to take control of the big chomp chomp. Okay. Yep. There's just a just big giant fucking T-Rex there. Okay. I guess I guess I could become a chomp chomp. Or I could become a T-Rex. How do I make it across the gap? <laughs> oh, well, I did that with some flourish. Why the hell did I do that? Oh, because I held it? No. Sometimes you just do some crazy things with it. Yeah, okay. I'll figure it out later. Hey, Chop Chops, how you doing? If you want to break this wall, go for it! I wish to become... You! I thought he was about to be like, you can't! Oh, you're about to learn something important about Newton's Law! Oh, that didn't do what I needed it to. I thought it was going to just destroy the tiny thing, the tiny Chop Chop. Ooh, another power moon! Chop through the rocks! Okay. I guess there are four moons available to us right now. I will uh, make sure to partake in this. Hmm. Hold on. You! I need to break these rocks. I'm curious if there's something under them. 
That didn't do what I needed to. You, big man. Do the same thing. Okay, I can't. Hold on. Oh! Uh, excuse you! Bad tiny chomp chomp! I'm trying to do physics here! Ha! Ah. Okay, and by taking that out, now I can bring myself far enough away to open this up. Right? No. You know what? Maybe the T-Rex can break rocks. Hey! Goodness, look at the size of that thing! Wakey wakey! That didn't work. Wake up! Wake up! Big dinosaur! You got business to do! You gotta do your taxes! Before it's too late! Come on! What do you mean dinosaurs don't have taxes? Well, I think that's just inappropriate! You're a <laughs> You live on this land? Alright, the government's taking control. Oh boy! I'm a giant dinosaur! Ha <laughs> ha! I can eat the land! I can eat everything! <laughs> Alright! Let's break this down over here, or just step on it, you know, do whatever. Oh, I just destroyed their chair! Well, goodbye, farewell. That's what I wanted to do with them beforehand. Whoa! Holy hell, the dinosaur went flying! Uh, maybe I don't want to try walking off the edge. Holy shit. Boing! <laughs> we're just... We're just... We need a trampoline to be able to jump. Whoops! And it just goes back... No, wait, no, that was just his knockout animation. Does he wake up and get mad? Or disappear? I don't want him to disappear. Dash! Destroy! Roar! Uh, I just destroyed a helpful sign. Oh, no, it comes back. Eat the tiny critters! And the birds! Damn! It dares to run away from me! The king of this land! I am a Tyrannosaurus Rex! Or a Rex of some kind. And I've got tiny arms! Uh-oh. Uh... Oops! I just destroyed a big chunk of land. I guess I could climb up that. But I'm a big giant dinosaur! Roar! Roar! Look at- look at my eyes. Wouldn't you trust this? I would trust this. What's that sound? <gasps> Gasp! It's too big! I couldn't hold on to it any longer! Uh, I have a time limit! <laughs> I have a time limit on being a giant dinosaur! Oh man. Okay. Uh, this looks interesting. What's up with this? Oh! Oh my! We've gotten flat! And rather blocky at that! Oh, we've gotten 2D! We're doing a remix! Ho oh, ho! We're gonna do some Mario things! Classic Mario things! Maybe the closest I'll actually be doing a normal Mario Let's Play for a long time! At least the old school 2D Mario games. Greetings. Hold on, oh, there's still some more stuff here. Money. A lot of money. Hey, stop cutting off my route. That's how I'm gonna escape from here. Wait, can I slam down? No, no, not as 2D Mario. What's over here? Because you have that way and that just leads out. But this <gasps> goes to somewhere else. A power moon! Cool, behind the waterfall. Well, that's unique. Okay. Well, this definitely changes things up a little bit. I claim this fossil falls height. So can I like jump to different places or something? Uh, map. I can warp here. Cool. 
I didn't do that for the place below, though. Hold on. I got an idea. <laughs> I will chain the attacks. Okay, there's a lot of, like, breakable rocks over here. Oh, Jesus, I was falling. I was just curious about that. Whoa. There's a lot to this land! A lot to this land that I gotta figure out! But first I gotta, I guess, destroy... ...a big giant lady's hope. <laughs> oh, what's this? You say you need to repair some silly old airship? Why, I could never part with any of my precious power moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chain choppikins. Uh, preferably no. It has a hat on it already. Does that mean I can't possess it? Oh, I knocked it off! I will become your chain! Aha! I resist, and then I let it fly straight into her face. Uh -huh. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want to spin! Ah! She hit me. Oh, she hit me while I was trying to do my hat thing. How dare you! I resist your control, lady! <laughs> Alright! Now we let loose! Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Fly! Just like that! Yeah, just like that. Uh-oh, why do I have a rock? <laughs> well, I want all those coins, but I guess we're just gonna have to hold off on that. Jeez, this lady's scary. I don't wanna get hit by that. Oh no! We killed her chain! That's not what I wanted! At least not yet! Poor Chopikins. Oh well, at least we get three power moons out of her. Hey, hey! Huh. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what an intense level of moons, man! This is totally gonna power up our ship! <laughs> Alright, I guess that's what they mean by multi moon. I just thought that there were multiple moons on this area yeah. that I needed to collect. You've done it! And now we've got a multi-moon! Oh, it's as strong as three power moons combined! It should get the ship moving in no time! Yeah, I guess, because it looks exactly like three power moons in one. <laughs> Let's see if we can't make this work. Throw me on that globe! Alright, how about I throw you away from the globe and make you go right? Six moons! Ha ha! Wow, that is a lot nicer looking. And our ship's called the Odyssey, of course it is. fuel to search uh, to reach the Sand Kingdom. Let's go save those two. Why don't you take the helm? Just select Sand Kingdom and press A and we'll be off. What if I want to stay in Cascade Kingdom, though? That's where we are now. I need to choose where we're going. Well, if I just walk out of the ship, it won't matter. All right. Hold on now. Hey, you weren't here before. Oh! We go through an entirely separate little area to get to these coins. Wow, or power moon now, holy shit. Above a high cliff, I guess these are new. Now that we've beaten the level, we actually have access to more things. Cool. I thought I was gonna have to figure out some other way to get up here. Top of the big stump. Okay, hey, where does this go? 
Uh... Well... We're underground. We got the Secret Mario theme thing. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. And we have a dinosaur. Big old dinosaur. Hey, guys. Out of the way! I need to become a dinosaur! T-Rex time! I said T-Rex time! I have to throw it in his head. Ha-ha! Alright, I'm not exactly sure what we're trying to accomplish here, but I'm... I have an imaginings that if I eat everything in the area... I'll get something out of this place! I'm an apex predator! And that means I need a lot of energy by just straight up eating everything everybody else. Thank you for doing the work. For eating whatever is in this area. As I now eat all of you! Ha ha! I see another group of people over here, hello! I was right! Eat everything and you get a moon! Okay, well, I'm gonna destroy these big rocks. They give me some stuff. Whoops! Uh-oh. I wonder if you can keep on refreshing the timer on that. Also, hello! Dinosaur, we descend! You might not be able to fly until a few million years pass and you become a bird. But there might be items down here, like another power moon? Hello! Ha-ha! I was right to jump down here. Uh... That doesn't seem like it'd be appropriate for the dinosaur. Grab it! You got a moon! Dinosaur nest! Running wild! Okay. Now I need the other one. Woo! Look at all the coins! Go back! <laughs> eat the coins! If I could eat money and sustain myself on money, well, I wouldn't, because it'd probably taste pretty gross. Still, in this game, I'd eat the coins. Uh huh. Alright. So, hat doors will take us into new areas, whereas pipes might just take us to other parts of the area we're already in. So, for example, if you're down here and the timer goes out, you can probably use the pipe to, uh, ascend. But I want to test this out. Okay, first off, can I not use this trampoline as Mario? I mean, I can, but it definitely doesn't go as high as if I'm the dinosaur. Alright, so it's the pipe time. Look at that. I'll let you rest, little buddy. Apex predators need to sleep a lot, I suppose. Save your energy until you're on the hunt. Okay. So now what's in this area? You know, besides all the new stuff. I'll open up my map. Wrong button. Oh look, it's like a brochure. The ancient wall, no ordinary cliff, uh, cliff face, this structure was carved out painstakingly over many long years by people unknown. The wall is composed mainly of fossils, and evidence suggests it has broken many times, causing some to suggest that something is buried inside. Visitors are encouraged to explore the mystery surrounding the Great Barrier if they dare. We broke it immediately. The prehistoric tyrant! The biggest draw for tourists to this area is just that dinosaurs still live here. Many people willingly put themselves at considerable risk for a glimpse of the ancient, terrible lizards. T-Rex, most terrible of all dinosaurs, can pulverize a boulder with a single blow. On the other hand, most people don't realize how much time they spend napping. Researchers believe that this specimen is female. Oh. Okay. An odd, odd old structure. No one knows how a Bonneton-style structure got buried here. Bonders travels often, so they may have lived here in the past. It is a helpful landmark if you get lost, though. Old, but not as ancient as its surroundings. Okay. Well, this is neat. Average temperature, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not that bad. Okay. 